All right. Um, this is the progression to get towards what we call the seated iliopsoas exercise. So this is to help teach the femoral head to glide backwards and not pull forward, not pull into the front of the capsule while they lift their leg, which is very functional for when you're running. Because when you're running, you have to lift that leg, and we don't want the the femur or the femoral head to roll anterior or roll forward into that capsule and give you anterior impingement or hip pain. So this is step one in the process. This is the easiest way to learn it first. Um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to bend both knees, laying flat on um, a flat surface. Take a towel, wrap it around the leg, hold it with the opposite hand. Okay. Take the same hand as the same hip we're working on. So the right hip, we're using the right hand. You're going to take the inside of your palm and you're going to push down. Now, if that is uncomfortable on you, you can also do a placement where you just push down this way. But what you're doing is trying to push down the, the head of the femur so that it glides this way. So as she's lifting her knee, instead of everything coming up this way, we want it to go down and her knee come up. So we're trying to teach that to go down and come back up. All right. So, you don't have to get me the whole time, by the way. Okay. <laughs> they can listen to me talk. All right, so abs are engaged first. Good. She pushes down with her hand to glide that hip down. Okay, from there, she uses her left hand to help lift her leg towards her chest, keeping her abs engaged, pushing that socket down this way. Good. And then from there, she's going to let up a little bit off the towel and hold. One, two three, four, five, use the towel to help you a little bit on the way down, and she uses the towel to help her down. The entire time she's pressing down towards her buttock with her right hand, okay? Abs engaged, push down through the, the hip, good, and then she lifts with her hand, pulling on that towel, knee to the chest, abs are still engaged, and then she lets go off the towel and holds with her muscles. Five, four, three, two, one, and then use the towel a little bit to hold, help her down. Now, as she gets better at this, she'll start to use the towel less on the way down. So we'll go abs, push down, use the towel to lift. Just get her, you don't worry about me. Good. And then hold, let go of the towel a little bit, and five, four, three, two, one. Don't use the towel, let the towel be relaxed, and she lowers with her muscle that time. We're going to repeat that again so that you get the concept. Abs, push the hip down, lift with the towel, good, hold, five, four, three, two, one, lower slow without the towel, using her muscles, she's using her muscles to lower, good, and relax. Now, the next step is that she actually gets to do this without the towel, okay? Now that she's gotten better at it, she can control it, we decide to go to without the towel. She's gonna go abs, push the knee down, lift, pushing that femur down through the socket as she lifts, good. And hold, five, four, do we have a little more range? Yes, we do, so she gives a little help with her other hand to get to that in range right there, good. And then let go, five, four, three, two, one, and then lower slow. Again, she's still pushing through her hand. So you saw how she had a little more range than what she could actually actively go through. You don't need me. We can move okay. <laughs> And as so we went abs, push through, lift it up. See, she went a little further. Now grab your hand and pull it just a little bit. Right there. She went like a couple more inches. And now hold with your muscles. Let go of your hand. Five, four, three, two, one. And lower slow. <coughs> Good, now watch her again. She should get a little more motion now. Abs, push down, lift the knee, pushing that hip socket down. She went higher, good. Grab here, pull to the chest. She has just a little bit there, good. And hold, five, four, three, two, one, and lower slow. Good, she would continue this. I would do a set of 10. Um, whatever, whatever step she is in, I would start there. So the first step is with the towel. That's where I would start with. And then the second step is to go towards without the towel. Now once she's been able to do this several times successfully, then we move to sitting. Um, each time that, that your athlete does this, you wanna do it hmm, 
10 times, you can do it up to 20 times. 10 to 20 times is a good range for them to kind of get the pattern of movement. Um, 20 is a really good, good range. Um, but if it's hard, 10 then. Okay, go ahead and sit up at the edge of the table here past the very end. Yeah, good. All right, so now the next step, step three or phase three in this, this progression, scoot forward to the edge of the table so your feet are flat. So you sit on any kind of surface, right? It's hard, it's easier to go from this position than it is for us to raise up the table. So just pretend like the table's raised up and stand up. And her to be like kneeling on the table. Um, so like the higher the position like this, you can do it from there, but that requires more range of motion in the hip and it's gonna be harder. So first I would start at a position around 90 degrees. So this is not quite 90 degrees, this is a little bit um, more than that. She's got a little bit more hip range to go through, but that's okay, we'll start there. So around 90 to 100 degrees of, of hip motion. All right, so first we're gonna use the towel. So she's sitting up nice and tall, we throw the towel around the leg. Again, the opposite hand grabs, good, good. All right, abs are engaged. She takes her right hand and she presses down into her groin, pushing that hip down into the socket. Go ahead, good, so she pushes down. Abs are engaged, she uses the towel to help her lift. Good, and then hold, five. And she lets off the towel a little bit. But see how she started to drop? So she needs to give a little more help in her hip with the towel, two. One, and then lower slow using the towel to help. Good. And again, abs, good. Push down through the hips, use the towel to help lift you. Now, if she can hold without dropping, then we let go of the towel. But if she drops, oh, so she drops, so she gives a little bit of help with the towel. So the towel is only there to help her do as much as she can without it dropping. And then lower slow. Good. And again, abs, push down, use the towel to help you lift. Good, let off on the towel. The goal is eventually to be able to hold it without the towel at all, okay? Five seconds, two, one, and then lower slow. Now, once she masters using the towel and everything is good, we take the towel away, and she's going to do the same thing. Um, eventually, first of all, she needs to be able to lower the leg without the use of the towel. So Cassidy's kind of stuck right now and needs a little bit of help with the, the towel. But um, once she's mastered that, the final phase of this exercise is going to be abs, push down, actively lift the knee as high as you can without any rotation. Good, knee goes straight up. Good, that's as high as she can go. She uses her other hand to lift it a little higher. And then she holds there, hold, and let go of your fingers. And you see how she drops? So right now she's not strong enough to hold there, so right now she needs to use her, her finger a little bit. Four, two, one, and then lower slow. So right now that's kind of an in-between progression, but the final phase is abs engaged, lift up as high as you can go, good, give a little help, and she gets the end range, and then she needs to be able to hold that there, oh better, without dropping, five seconds, and then lower slow. Okay, so the final phase, one more time. Abs engaged, push down through here, lift up as high as you can, use your other hand to help you get to the end range, right there, and then hold, don't let it drop, let go of the hand, hold, five, four, three, two, one, and lower slow. And as you can tell, Cassie got stronger just as we were going through all of this. Uh, again, this is a progression to teach that hip to live back in the socket where it's supposed to live while bending the knee up to the chest. This is very functional for running. 